Hey guys, I'm here today with my January reads. So obviously this is the first monthly reads of the year and it's one I'm pretty excited for. I had a really good reading month in January. I feel like beginning of a new year I'm feeling very refreshed and feeling very motivated, very excited about all of the things in that slightly annoying way. And I've actually decided to incorporate a new aspect into my monthly reads videos. So every single month I'm going to choose the book that I most want to share with you guys, the book that I'm most excited about having read, and I'm going to give a copy away to you guys. So every month I'll choose a book, you guys, if you're interested in that book, will enter the competition. And then in the next monthly reads video I will announce the winner. So the competition that's going today, I will announce the winner in my February reads video and then send the book out then. So I'll leave the book that I'm going to be giving away this month uh, till the end of the video and then I'll talk about how you can enter as well. So for now let's just get into the books that I read in January. I'll start off with the books that I've already done separate reviews on so they will be linked and I'll just briefly tell you the book and whether I liked it. First up we have No Fond Return of Love by Barbara Pym. This was my first Barbara Pym, probably not the best place to start. Um, I liked a lot about this book but I also had several issues so if you want to know more about it check out the separate review. Next up we have a couple of children's books. This one here is Secrets of Shakespeare's Grave by Darren R. Hicks and I completely loved this so if this title intrigues you at all check out the review. And the other book that I have reviewed this month already is the first title in the Books of Elsewhere series. This is The Shadows and this was fantastic as well. I managed to finish listening to two audiobooks this month. The first of which was the next book in the Portuguese Irregular Verb series by Alexander McCall Smith. It is called The Finer Points of Sausage Dogs and I enjoyed it just as much as the first volume. If you missed my December reads I talked about the first volume there. Uh, the audiobook is narrated by Hugh Laurie who I love and these books are my first experience with Alexander McCall Smith and so far his humour is completely wonderful and I am definitely going to be checking out more things. I also finished listening to an audiobook that I've been listening to for several months on and off. It is a short history of film and I really enjoyed listening to this. It was very very interesting but I think it was maybe the wrong choice to listen to it and not read a physical copy. I really like listening to nonfiction, but this was somewhat frustrating when there was constantly uh, names of actors and directors and movies that I wanted to write down and it was just not as easy as having that reference in front of me where I could make a list and check things out later. It was still super interesting, I still really enjoyed it, but I think I would have got more out of the physical copy. But it went into a really fantastic amount of detail considering the time period that it covered. It talks a lot about early cinema, which is something I'm very interested in. But it also had a lot to say about modern cinema that I found completely fascinating and I just really enjoyed it. Another non-fiction read this month was Perfume, A Century of Scents and this is by Lizzie Ostrom. This goes through the entire 20th century and each decade has a different section and different perfumes are talked about. Um, it's not a comprehensive list by any means, it's more of a history told through scent. It's trends that happened and different historical movements that uh, could be tied in with different fragrances. It was kind of like a short book of interesting and sometimes amusing essays and it was something that I found really really fun, I really enjoyed it. I think if you are a fan of fragrance in general and also social history, this is a fun one to pick up. Next up, I have started reading the Blandings books from Woodhouse again. I have only read a few of them and I really want to read all of them, so I'm starting from the beginning. I'm reading them in publication order, so I just finished reading Something Fresh and I had read this one before and I think I'd only given it three stars on Goodreads and I'd still liked it, but I really enjoyed it a lot more the second time I had to give it an extra star. I just, I love the characters in the Blanding series. Freddie and Lord Emsworth and Beach, they're just so good and I really, I loved the humour in this novel. I love Woodhouse in general but I just had so much fun rereading this. I'm very excited about getting to read all of the Blandings books, I don't currently own them all. A few that I've ordered recently are going to be coming up in a haul um, but I just, 
I love Woodhouse and I love the Blanding series and there is actually a fantastic BBC uh, adaptation of the Blanding's books that has run for two series so far and I believe it got cancelled but now there's word of it maybe coming back. It stars Timothy Spall and Jennifer Saunders and it is a lot of fun. So the talk of it coming back is what inspired me to start reading these again and I'm so glad that I have. If you've been following along with what I've been reading recently, you'll know that I'm reading the Agatha Raisin series and I read the third book in this. This is Agatha Raisin and the Potted Gardener and it was maybe my favourite so far. I enjoyed this one, it was fun. I'm conflicted about this series because I do like it and it is fun to read. I really enjoy sitting back and relaxing with one of these books. They're not amazing by any means but there's just something that I really enjoy about them so I'm definitely enjoying reading through this series. But I think only give them a try if you're after something extremely light and untaxing and would like to try something in the cozy mystery genre. Now lastly, my favourite book by far that I read this month and the one that I want to be giving away to you guys. This is Cider with Rosie by Laurie Lee. This is a childhood memoir set in the early 20th century in the Cotswolds and it is so stunningly beautiful. I've had this on my to read list for such a long time, but I, uh, I'm so glad I finally read it. It's gorgeous. I think this is actually something I need to do a separate review on because I really want to talk to you guys properly about it. I really, really loved it. But if you like coming of age stories, if you like really beautiful prose, then this is something that you are gonna need to read. So as far as the giveaway goes, you need to be a subscriber to this channel, Words of a Reader. You need to like this video and you need to leave me a comment saying you want to be entered, but also telling me your favourite book that you read in January. Because if we just left it as you wanted to be entered, there would be too many comments that were the same and YouTube would start registering them as spam and they would start hiding them from me and that would just be not fun. So this way you get to be entered in the competition and I get to be nosy and find out what book you really enjoyed reading in January. So of course only enter this competition if you are actively interested in this book. If it doesn't sound appealing to you, hold off. I am going to be doing this every single month. Surely there will eventually be a book that sounds interesting to you, but leave this for people that are genuinely wanting to read this. And of course, if you are under 18, you are going to need permission from a parent or guardian because if you win, I will need your postal address to send you the book. So that's it. Really simple. Be a subscriber, like this video and leave me a comment saying you want to be entered and what you loved reading in January. So that's it guys. Those were the books that I read in January. I had a good reading month. I feel good about it. I'm feeling really positive about it and I'm feeling like 2016 is just going to be a really, really good reading year all round. So good luck with the giveaway everyone. I will announce the winner in my February reads and of course there will be another chance to win a different book in February. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.